My name is the Ferret, and I'm a long copter server of joyous win. Hello. And it's good to be back on the invite in the invite circuit for the new year. I mean, I've been missing this a whole bunch. And yeah, and so it's been nice to be on a new, you know, 32 man server. And immediately you can see the action going on in turbine. Look at that action. Yeah, normally I wouldn't be an advocate of 32 man CTF, but with turbine, I think it kind of livens the place up a little bit. So, yeah, I hope to see like something like nine NGs in each Intel room. That'd be great. It's like it's kind of like tectonic pressure, isn't it? You basically the more kind of area you got to rub together, the more the action is. Same with TF2. Basically, you have more guys in a server, you you, you better get something fucked up. <laughs> right now, I think uh, 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 some early leading going on here. Yeah, I think Red have really just jumped to the occasion. They've actually managed to stop the Intel getting back to, to the other spawn. <laughs> I'm liking Harry the Stingray just nearly <laughs> managing to uh, clobber that guy with the K, but that was hilarious. The engineer didn't was going to hit him. It's a weird one. There's, even though you've got more people to rely on on your own team, I feel like this is actually going to end up being more sort of... Because there's so many people, you kind of can't keep an eye on everybody at once, and I feel like it's going to be easier for people to grab the intel. And it's certainly looking like that for Red right now. I mean, you know, they're ready to pick up the second one. You know, Harry the Stingray again has managed to pick up uh, the intel, but yeah, died again. I think he's the only one on blue actually trying to cap anything. I think he's, you know, I think some people, you know, have got that, um, uh, it's an old history program, it's a four o'clock in the morning courage, where basically they can enter a server and go, yeah, 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 okay, doing that. Um, and I think he's got it, you know, are oh, we playing CTF? Right, get the intel, done. And some people require to know what the situation is and stuff like that, you know. But, you know, Blue's actually now got the intel capped. So I think it's going to be 2-1, but that's an early start from Red, though, that's you know, nicely done from them. And there it goes. So, you know, 2 1. And Red's already in the lead. I mean, we're barely up three minutes in, and they've already nearly finished the game. Hey, artists, please don't spam the binds, okay? Just, you know, it just keeps coming up in all the time, and it's like, uh, we, we know. Ooh, is that the riot? Man, I have not got that riot gun yet. I really want to try that. Which one's that? Oh, the panic. Oh. Yeah, it's that panic shotgun. It's ropier. It's more firepower, uh, faster firing than all your damage, but then ropier accuracy. So, there's like a sweet middle ground for that. In fairness, we haven't really discussed the new weapons whatsoever. I mean, we kind of, I guess, touched on the update in general a little bit a while back. But the weapons as a whole, um, yeah, I don't know. The the panic attack, it seems to be kind of... I don't know. All of these weapons, they, they seem like they're kind of weapons that were... that should have been sort of beta tested first and never happened and this is what they would have started off with and they should be... I, I feel like they're gonna all get some sort of a buff or an earth in the very foreseeable future. Oops, sorry about so, uh, this can, you know, I'd love to get back onto that, but Harry the Stingray going to win it for blue team. It's looking good here. Oh dear, now Red's been caught with the trousers down. They really need to hold that intel. I, you know, blue might steal the game just yet. But yeah, no, the thing is, I will agree, I think I've said before though, it's kind of the update, it was not so much the Smithmas update as the um, Demo Man uh, re realignment update. Oops. And here goes the other intel. I think Red might win this. Oh my god. Oh Jesus! Oh, it's a race! Scout versus Pyro. I think Scout's going to win this. And he does. Oh! <laughs> Photo finish again. Jeez. Well, that was an explosive first round. <laughs> Okay, round two, and I'm loving the pace of these games so far. We actually got a lot of guys on the servers here. We've seen a lot before. With a lot of got a couple of new guys. We'd like to see them, and you know, quite a lot of the regulars. But anyway, though, um, I don't. Well, uh, it does seem like a real alignment update, and a lot of the weapons. I mean, the iron bomber. I think you like it. I've not seen it yet, but it, they seem a bit lacking inspiration in some cases, especially at like the quickie bomb launcher. Yeah, really. All it kind of seems to be is that. Um you know, we, we we had a lot of good weapons for the demo man anyway, a lot of quite powerful weapons, and really it just seems to be that they've filled in the gaps rather than made anything new. I mean, 
the the iron bomber or whatever it's called is effectively just halfway between the standard sticky bomb launcher and the lock and load and it isn't really as good as either of them and that's kind of the problem i mean i, I like the update in regards to sort of changes to current weapons i think they're all very necessary changes and like i said i think that sticky bomb launcher uh sort of nerf slash kind of necessary buff sort of thing <laughs> i think to, to be honest that i think that was pretty much the perfect change that could have been made i mean i said it time and time again that you know having damage ramp up while it's still in the air as soon as it hits the ground the damage ramp up is finalized anyway that is a perfect uh, way of updating a weapon because it still means you can play with tactics it doesn't lose any of its sort of overall characteristics or anything it just makes it a little bit easier to fight against yeah it's maybe more of a trappy weapon more than an all round weapon they have the thing is like, the sticky bomb launch is still good uh, that's the thing but I think they've taken enough of an edge off it just to give put it back it firmly one court and right now that looks like red is really dominating this game I mean the intel is so close to blue right now and they're just not getting at it this is kind of the problem with so many guys is that I think Red have really learnt that they can just throw 15 guys straight at Blue <laughs> Intel and sit there chilling out and they are going to win and in fairness it's a valid tactic I mean you know 32 man server what else are you going to do but um, yeah Blue kind of need to learn to counteract it I mean I don't know what you can do to counteract it other than do the exact same thing but then it really is just down to a case of who can get across the courtyard first you know pro strat get five engineers build one century super damn fast <laughs> but speaking of the like, 15 you look at that though that red offensive right now that's going for it but yeah back on the, you know, the, the quickie bomb launcher i haven't seen yet a lot of the problem with the new weapons i haven't seen many players use them yet nobody's really taking an absolute shine to this lock and load for me the lock and load is one of the big casualties of the update and for me personally Aesthetically, it's awful. It's got a three-shot clip in a two-shot barrel. Um, I think they're getting really desperate because the people are getting butt hurt at the fact they're getting insta-killed as like medics and uh, as scouts and snipers and things. And it's really annoying. You hit something, a hundred people damage at one. Like, okay, that, that, that's kind of really nerfed the appeal of this weapon. It's like on the one hand, I want to make sure that you know the. Um, was it? Sticky bomb launcher wasn't OP, and that's you know, school used the demo thing thingy launchers, nade launchers, and then they nerfed the lock and loads. That are great. That said, though, I think I think the rest of the update, like the the stuff for the Scottish Resistance, the Tide Turner, um, and I think there was a vague change to the uh, uh, loose cannon as well. I think they were all sort of they were nice little changes. You know, they they've kind of they've kind of narrowed the gap between all of the demon man weapons it's pretty much now anything is worthwhile using except for maybe the quickie sticky just because that is <laughs> that is honestly the most disappointing weapon i've ever seen it is pretty much just valve's way of saying oh yeah sorry that we uh, made the sticky bomb launcher not a spam weapon here's a spam weapon yeah but he's got a few oh that crits <laughs> crit spam there the things i'm seeing actually right now though we're seeing the engineer the uh, medics do a good nice job here and there and Slappy, they're nearly pushing all the way in. Uh, every time I run into these. But anyway, though, the thing is, I do find they've actually made Demo Man much, Demo Knight much more viable. Well, saying that, like, they, they, it's an interesting nerf in the tire turn. I do think they've balanced it quite nicely, not made so much a fuck it, just run in weapon. <laughs> oh my god. Blue base right now is an absolute fight around that corner. One main it with the crit Yeah, like I said, Red, Red pretty much managed. They've, they've pretty much narrowed it down to a fine art right now. Just, just chill in Blue's base, and eventually <laughs> they will all die. <laughs> oh, no. And uh, unfortunately, that was the wrong time to pop crits, or the right time to pop Uber, depending on how you look at it. Glass half full, glass half empty, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I oh think shit. even with that Uber oh shit. from Epic, there Games, goes the crit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and there goes the Uber. <laughs> Damn, medics are on time today. 
but seriously, there, there is so much firepower going on in these short spaces. Uh, you, you're going to see some heavy running around with Ubers, crits, and whatnot. <laughs> but right now, two all, and blue blue team is the slower team. They keep crawling. Oh, 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 hang on. Mid here, look at red. They're just like, okay, guard it, guard it, guard it, guard it. Oh, no. That reminds me of the old uh, bonk tactic. Bonk up, just fly, buzz around it until you pick it up and refresh it. That keeps the red, you know, the enemy team right on it. I have to say, it's quite odd, really, how little we've seen of scouts in this map. You know, considering this is pretty much the perfect situation for Bonk, like you were saying, either to just chill out on the intel and wait until you unbonk and then just refresh it, or to run across this, I guess it's a courtyard area. Well, it isn't a courtyard, but I like to call it a courtyard, um, and get into the other team's intel. I mean... This is pretty much ideal, and there we go, yeah, Epic Killer proving my point perfectly. <laughs> oh man, Red Team are holding on to that. I think that actually Red Team are really hitting Blue in spawn though, that's why they're not moving out so quick. And, oh, <laughs> wow, Tom, nice save, and takes down the Heavy as well. Oh, jeez, okay. Blue can smell victory, they are trying to push like a mother. <laughs> Oh my god, I've never seen such desperate fighting in this game. <laughs> Red's intel is right next to blue base, and they're just all over that right now. And that corridor is literally going to be the winning corridor. <laughs> well, no, Tom trying the same tactic again of approaching center from behind. Can Red team hang in there? This is... I mean, the thing, I think they're trying to win, you know, fix the problem by winning the game rather than trying to defend the intel somewhat. But the heavies are on that, though. They're doing a nice job. Oh, <laughs> uh, unlucky. Um, it was that, uh, yeah, Epic Killer. Every single time he runs back there, one person picks up on it. Uh, last time it was Kano, this time it was uh, bad. And, yeah, I th he's definitely got the right idea. But, yeah, the problem is he's getting seen and... I mean, it's pretty much what I would be doing, but yeah, just slightly bad luck each time. Here comes Red now. Red have nothing to defend, so they're, they're rather than be focused on the blue intel. Well, Svenska's there. Oh, wow. Svenska got the crits and just annihilated everybody in there. That was a nice counter. I mean, right now, in terms of like sheer amounts of tension, both teams are drinking straight from the hose. <laughs> but look at blue now, they've ca their characters are attacking, they're trying to get intel back. I'm loving it, this is a really equal game so far. Both teams are just really going to a full on, you know, double headbutt match. Oh, oh no. I think they've got a relay team of scouts, like one picks it up, another one picks it up, and the other one picks it up after that. Yeah, that was pretty much perfect timing there. I'm not sure who the first two scouts were. I think I think first one was Clear Means of Sparta and yeah, now Epic Killers pretty much won it for the team and well I say won it for the team, it was a team effort. There we go, nicely done. That was done, yeah. <laughs>